Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com on an absolutely miserable day in the Ozarks. And I'm out here today in 20 degree wind and cold and snow to talk about when's the best time of year to buy a tractor or to buy equipment. Before we get started today, I'd like to put a plug in for something I've done. I've just written a book titled An Insider's Guide to Purchasing a Tractor. And it's something I've been working on a long time. I've been in the equipment business for 25 years now, and I'm going to give some tips in that book on how to pick a brand, how to pick a dealer, uh, attachments to get, and, and, and timing and negotiation and that type of stuff. It's something I put a lot of work in. It's available on my website. It's primarily designed for the person that's never been around farm equipment, and they're going into a dealership for the first time help them take the mystery out of that. But if you're a, a seasoned equipment buyer, you'll probably get something out of it as well. But that's, that's my book. We'll talk about it at the end. But today I'm going to talk about what's the best time of year to buy a tractor. Is, is there a way I could time my purchase to save some money? And I, uh, the people that have asked me that question, I, I get where you're coming from. I'm a guy that loves a bargain. And if I could get on on a day like this and go shopping and save $500 or $2,000 or $50, I'd probably do it. But I'm going to tell you today, from, from my standpoint and experience in the business, why you're probably not going to save that much money going on a day like today. The only reason you would save money on a day like today is because the dealer was desperate to move a piece of equipment. And I managed a dealership for 11 years, and on a day like today, you got more problems uh, than you can think about. You you got to keep the parking lot clean. Uh, you got to keep salt on the front steps. You, you're you're having trouble with the service department getting the stuff started to get it in the shop. Uh, if you if you sell something and you deliver it, you, you you're worried about the the driver who has a slick deck on his truck and getting stuff loaded and unloaded is a problem. So you you've got other problems. So. Uh, a customer coming in on a day like today when it's probably pretty slow in a dealership and saying I want to buy a tractor, um, I'm probably not just going to discount it a whole lot. Uh, I'd, I'd honestly probably rather you buy it on a nicer day. The other thing you've got to think about is are you going to get to really test drive that tractor and get comfortable with it on a day like today? And, I, and, and I'm not going to be driving a tractor today, uh, I, I guarantee you. So, so uh, from a dealer standpoint, uh, uh, probably you're not going to get a great deal on a day like today. Now, from a manufacturer standpoint, the manufacturer controls more money than the dealer controls in the, in the margin situation. So when would a manufacturer discount their equipment? Well, there's, there's two times a manufacturer will discount their equipment. The first time is when they're, they're, they're way overstocked on inventory. And on, especially on compact tractors, the economy, the general economy follows, uh, the, the sales follow the general economy. So if the economy is, is have a little hiccup and, and inventory starts to glump up, you can see some discounts. We haven't seen that in a long time at the, at the time I'm, I'm recording this video. So that's one time. The other time they'll discount, on, on, on bigger equipment, if you're buying a bigger tractor, uh, combine, a lot of hay tools, uh, bigger hay tools, count towards something called volume bonus. And volume bonus, the more the dealer sells as the year goes on, uh, the, the more they, uh, the cheaper they get. In other words, they get a little hold back that the company will hold called a volume bonus, and it can be anywhere from probably two to eight percent but it's usually from two to five percent that the company will hold in reserve for the dealer and at the end of the manufacturer's fiscal year they will rebate that back to a dealer so if you're at the dealership right before the end of their fiscal year you can get a better deal and you you'll have to check with the company that you're thinking about buying their product to see when their fiscal year ends now here's the bad news if you're a small compact tractor buyer and, and a lot of smaller implements and hay tools, those do not qualify for volume bonus. So the long and the short of this video, and I'm freezing to death out here, I, I'm gonna put a lid on it. If you're buying a smaller tractor, just buy it when you need it. You're, you, you're really probably not gonna have a great advantage to timing your purchase. You wanna think about it this way. Let's say you were thinking about buying a compact tractor in March, and you put it off till October, and inventories were coming up, and they discounted the product, and you, and you saved $500. If you had to rent a tractor from March to October to get your work done, uh, you, you came out in reverse. You lost money. So my best advice to you, if you're thinking about buying small implements and small 
tractors, hay tools, and that type of thing. Get them when you need them, and, and don't worry about uh, did I save money or not, because uh, they generally don't fluctuate in price very much at all. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have a book available. It, it's an uh, insider's guide to purchasing a tractor. So take the guesswork out when you're buying a tractor. It'll help you get the best deal and get comfortable at what you really want. It's $29.95. A lot of money for a book, but I put a ton of time into it, and the price is what it is. Now, if you want a discount on it, you can go to my Patreon page and pledge one month, $5 Patreon contribution, and get $10 off the book. And if you want to drop Patreon in a month, no hard feelings. We both, we both won. If you'd like to check out my book and other products I recommend, go to my website right up here. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the Mike Face icon up there, and make sure you click the bell icon so you get notified uh, when, when I post new videos. If you'd like to know more about recommendations on buying a used tractor, go to this video right here. Thanks for watching.